So this is your what makes the carrot and block sink or float model. So you just watched a video of the carrot and the cube, either both floating, both sinking, or one floating and one sinking in the different liquids. And then what this is showing is this is showing a magnified view of this circled space. So this section right here would be a magnified view of the carrot. This section right here would be a magnified view of the liquid in between the carrot and the cube. And then this section right here is a magnified view of the cube. So this says, use pictures below to describe and explain what is happening in each beaker using the zoom in circles. So these are zoom in circles right here. So what that means is you are going to use circles to show what it looks like inside of the carrot, inside of the liquid, and inside of the cube. So the way you do that is you're gonna go up to here for shapes and you're gonna click on a circle, and then you're going to draw a circle in that space showing the particles of the carrot. And then I would recommend changing the fill color to transparent and changing the border color to black. And now you have a circle in there showing a particle of the carrot. So you're gonna be using circles in each of these sections showing the particles of the different materials, the carrot, the liquid, and the cube. And the way you show the particles should explain in some way why they do what they do in that liquid. So why do they float in A? Why do they both sink in B? And why does one float and one sink in C? So obviously your pictures might look a little bit different from each other with your particles. And then after that, you're going to explain your reasoning for why you drew your zoom in circles the way that you did with the particles. So using words and then a final summary explanation for what is your explanation for why the carrot and block float sink the way that they do.